Hello, my name is Raymond Yong, and alongside Team 2, we worked on an app called Moodwatch. It is a party managing app that lets you host parties, find parties, and track the mood of any parties that you host. Hey everyone, my name is Ahmed. I am part of the Safe Nav 19 team, and we are working on a COVID avoidance mobile application. Hi, my name is Tui Warahana, and I was one of the UI UX designers for CPU, working on a stress management app called Amicia. Our target for Moodwatch was for both the host and the guest. Although the app was designed for users between the ages of uh, 12 and 50, essentially anyone with a smartphone would be able to use the app. Our target audience are people that are concerned with their health, and people that are trying to stay away from COVID hotspots. Our target demographic were the populations most prone to stress. He hates how long it takes to create the perfect playlist for a great night, and that's something that Moodwatch will be able to solve. And we noticed that the main pain point for the personas that we looked at is difficulty at, uh, at retrieving COVID information. She has undiagnosed ADHD. Amicia can support Mina by providing affirmations to boost her spirit while her parents are at work and the stress heat map helps her parents understand her adversities throughout the day. A low fidelity prototype was created to understand each main screen and its functionality. After this, a high fidelity prototype was then created. On the white ones, we have the low fidelity prototype and then they transform into what we call our high fidelity prototype. In the low fidelity prototype, we sketched every single uh, screen that the user can go through in our app. The high fidelity prototype was concerned with the graphical uh, components of this app. We looked at different guidelines that we can follow and we chose the Google material guideline to follow in making our app. The approved design is called Breezy Beach and employs the beach motif and color scheme to create a serene user environment in line with our goals. As a team, Team 2 has made many changes to Moonwatch and with the aim to improve its ease of use and to deliver the best of art we could. For me personally, there were two main key takeaways from uh, this unit. The first is team management. So how to manage your team, how to allocate different tasks, and how to make sure that everyone is on top of their tasks as the uh, project is taking uh, place. The second thing is startup knowledge. So how to uh, research for your startup idea, how to get it from, you know, from the idea point to the product point. That entire journey, we've learned it through our HCI unit. So I enjoyed the challenge of thinking from the user's perspective to understand how to optimize our solution to their needs.